first, price of exports increases in foreign currencies. So to a foreigner, it's more expensive to buy your stuff now. Okay, like Malaysian or any other nationality, they want to buy your goods, it costs them more. Okay. So PX increases in foreign currency while price of imports fall in local currency. It is cheaper to buy imports because your sing dollar is stronger. You can get more foreign currencies. Follow? It is one from step one you have to follow. If not, the rest of it you'll be lost. Okay? Second, by the law of demand. Through the law of demand, quantity demanded of exports. I should spell this out. Of exports fall while quantity demanded of imports rise. So let me add in some arrows up, down, down, up. QX is quantity demand. QX is not demand. Okay. At this point, you need to know that there are three different approaches used across the schools in Singapore. Okay. The first approach is what I believe most schools are using now. Okay. They will say, Assume PDX exceeds 1 <coughs> and PDM exceeds 1. Okay? So they will say, ah, assume uh, each one is greater than 1. Therefore, QX falls more than proportionate. QM rises more than proportionate to the change in price also. Okay, so it's like saying, look, there are more arrows now. Okay, but you don't have to add in those arrows up there. I just want to show you for emphasis. Okay, hence X falls and M rises, therefore net exports declined. I make this a bit bigger. <coughs> okay. Okay. You're okay with the first approach? That's not what your school uses, but it's the simplest. Second approach. The second approach differs from the first approach in the sense they want to be more mathematically precise. Okay? So these are really the purists when it comes to math. They will say, hey, but net exports can still fall if PEDX or PEDM is smaller than 1. Because the assumption here is each one exceeds 1. But now they are saying we can relax this assumption, we can get the same outcome. So they tried different numbers. They were trying to find this thing called a limiting condition. What is the smallest elasticity value such that net exports can still fall? They use calculus, which thankfully is not in our syllabus. Okay? So this approach was devised by two people, Alfred Marshall and someone learner. And it's called the Marshall Learner Condition. Okay? So for them, if you assume Marshall learner condition holds. In short, they call it MLC. So what is the Marshall learner condition? This one. PEDX plus PEDM is greater than 1. Okay, you see the assumption is different now? Okay, so if you assume 
uh, the sum is greater than 1, net exports can still fall. How do you get this limiting condition? No need to know, like say it was done through calculus. Okay. Third one. Okay. So the third approach <coughs> recognizes that hey, this thing above uh, is a little bit messy. Why? Because you are looking at export prices in terms of foreign currencies. And you're looking at import prices in terms of your home currency. They are different. Eh? And you can't just minus off like that. So the third approach says, let's consider everything in terms of local currency, which means your home currency. Okay. <coughs> so, when my exchange rate appreciates, okay, when my exchange rate becomes stronger, okay, price or import fall in local currency. Yes? Which is what we said above. But when the exchange rate appreciates, the price of exports is unchanged. In local currency. In terms of Sing dollar, the price of your exports have not changed. It's only when you convert to foreign currencies that the price has changed. Okay? So because price of imports have changed, price of exports have not changed, only PEDM <coughs> is applicable. If you recall how we define PED, it's about responsiveness. Okay? of something to a change in price. So you need price to change before you can talk about elasticity. Only PEDM is applicable. Okay. <clears throat> so here the assumption is you assume PEDM exceeds 1. Okay. If you assume PEDM exceeds 1, therefore M increases overall. Because the price drops, quantity demanded increases more than proportionately. Then what about Px? <coughs> it's unchanged in local currency, yet <coughs> foreigners are buying more. Right? Foreigners are buying more by the law of demand. Hey, wait, foreigners are buying less. Okay? So this is a direct reference to this one. So if the price is unchanged but you sell less, X falls overall. Those are your three approaches. Okay. Any questions?